Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar rahim So we are going to talk about space trust. Uh, this is again the continuation of chapter 4. We have been talking about structures, trusses, and if you recall, we have talked about uh, plane trusses, we talked about method joints, method sections. Now we are going to talk about space truss. Now, a space truss is a three dimensional counterpart of a normal plane truss described in previous articles as we have discussed in the last two three lectures. Now, uh, the idealized space truss consists of a rigid link connected at their ends by a ball and socket joints, whereas a triangle uh, of a pin connected bars, as we have seen, a basic non collapsible structure of a plane truss. A uh, space truss would, on the other hand, would have a six bars connected, forming a, a tetrahedron as the basic non collapsible unit. As you can see in the figure, we have AB. Uh, we have AD, BD, and CD connected at point D. Now, if you look at the element AD and BD connected point joint D, will form a single plane truss. Similarly, you have another plane truss BD, CD connected joint D, C, and B. On the other side, we also have another plane that is ADC. So all these joints forming a plane truss. Now in order to stabilize one of the plane, we need an additional uh, element CD to stabilize this plane ABD. <coughs> now if you can see, if we remove the plane in from the figure A, we'll get a, we need to introduce supporting elements such as AB, BC and AC. This will form a tetrahedron not dependent on the foundation and has its own rigidity. Now, for many new rigid units, uh, for many, uh, uh, you can say, for a new rigid unit to extend the structure with three additional concurrent bars whose ends are attached to fixed joints on the existing structure. Thus, there you can say. A F, as you can see in the structures right here in third part, if you look at this triangle, we are going to introduce A F right here, B F, this is right here, if you can see, and C F right here, another tetrahedron. So you have another one tetrahedron A C A D C H. Where other uh, triangular structure, three dimension A, B, C, F, fixed at point F, and the other one fixed at point H uh, in space, uh, you can say another A, these three additional joint bar, uh, the three additional bars, that such as you can say C, G, F, G, right here, you can see C, G, F, G, and H, G, right here are attached to the three fixed points C, F and H and therefore fix G in a space. Uh, the fixed point E is similarly created as you can see right here. Point E. We see that now the structure is entirely rigid. The two applied loads Will be will result in forces in all of the members. A stress a space truss is formed in this way is called a simple space truss. Ideally, there must be point support such as that given by ball and you can say ball and socket joint at the connection of the space truss to prevent bending in the members. Um, Riveted and welded connections of plane trusses, if central lines joined together, can be assumed, or we can assume the two force members to be under simple compression and tension. If uh, you can say by assuming that if they are axisymmetric, these joints can be ball and socket joints. Going to that direction, we need to understand whether our structure is uh, statically determined or indetermined. So when the space truss is supported externally so that it is statically determined as an entire unit, 
there has to be a relationship and the relationship exists between the number of joints and the members necessary for internal stability with our redundancy without any redundancy you say without redundancy because the equilibrium of each joint is specified by three scalar forces and there are uh, there are in all three j joints you can say three j the j is number of joints such equations of space trust now for the entire trust composed of m members there are m unknowns let m capital m be number of members and the same m will be number of unknowns plus six unknown support reactions in general case of a statically determined space structure there must be uh, thus for any space structure the equation should be m plus 6 is equal to 3j uh, it should be what m plus 6 6 is the number of uh, you can say the reactions is equal to 3 times j j is number of joints m is number of members a simple space truss satisfies this relation automatically starting with initial tetrahedron for which the equation holds the structure is extended by adding three members and one joint at a time you have to understand this thing. three members are added with one joint and one ball and socket joint thus presenting inequality uh, as in the case uh, of the plane truss this relation is a necessary condition for stability uh, so in order to understand this thing let us assume if mass there is not mass sorry members plus 6 is greater than 3j this is the condition number 1 then there are more members than that are independent there, then there will be more members than the independent equations and the truss and the truss is statically indeterminate internally with redundant members now if the same condition shows that m plus 6j is less than 3j there is a deficiency of internal members and the truss is unstable and is subject to collapse under any loading now the relationship between number of joints and number of members is very helpful in preliminary design of a stable space truss since the configuration is not as obvious as with the plane truss where the geometry of statically determinacy is generally quite apparent you know two dimensional systems so this this type of relation is necessary for space stress now we are going to use the same two techniques if you remember the space uh, simple plane trust we come came up with two techniques to solve the members number one method of joints the number two method of sections so let us revise method of joints for space stress the method of joints developed for uh, in the previous plane trusses for the plane trusses can be extended to the uh, space truss and we know that the sum of all forces in a space truss x y z is equal to zero now here you have to remember the sum of forces along x axis sum of forces along y axis sum of forces along z axis for each joint should be equal to zero so again we normally begin uh, analysis at a joint with at least one unknown force Oh, sorry one known force x more x x and not more than three unknown forces are present because you have three equations adjacent joint on uh, if you move on from there uh, on which not more than three unknown forces act may then be analyzed in turn step by step joint techniques tend to minimize the number of simultaneous equations to solve when we must deter uh, equations to be solved take enough uh, we must determine the forces in all members of the space truss. For this reason, it is not readily reduced to a routine. Such uh, routine, uh, because this approach is more uh, friendly uh, or it's much more recommended compared to method of sections. Now, an alternative procedure, however, we may simplify and write three J joint equations to all the joint uh, of the space truss the number of unknowns will be m plus 6 if this structure is non collapsible when removed from its supports and those supports provide six external reactions now in addition there are no redundant members then the number of equations that is 3j equals the number of unknown that is m plus 6 the entire system of the equations can be solved simultaneously for the unknowns 
Now, because of the large number of coupled equations, a computer solution is usually required for three-dimensional structures. For such structures, uh, so it is better to move with system with not more than three unknown when you are solving manually. The other technique is method of sections. The method of section developed in the previous articles, as we have developed before the two uh, say plane trusses, can also be applied to the space truss. Now, you would have two vector equations that is, sum of forces along, uh, sum of forces should be equal to zero and sum of moment equal to zero. Now, these two equations must be satisfied for method of section uh, for any truss. Now, there should be no moment. This means there where the zero moment sum will hold for all the moment axes. Now this is true because if there is a moment, the structure will not will, will not be stable. Now because the two vector equations equivalent to six scalar equations, we concluded that in general, a section should not be passed through more than six members. So we have six force equations and six moment equations. So six members should not be cut at a time. The vector notation for expressing the terms in force of moment equation for space truss if is of considerable advantage and is used in a sample problems as we are going to come to next part.